couple videos to film today. Um, I was trying to decide how to break them up, so I'm going to do a drugstore slash Jordana haul first. Um, so that's what this one is. The first thing, I'll talk about the Jordana stuff at the end, and then there's just, there's two other random things. I got a another one of those hair chalks, the Fright Night hair chalks. This one was rotten red. Um, because I'm playing with the idea of uh, dressing Aiden as Chucky for Halloween, and I don't want to use the spray hair stuff, because everybody says that that can stain light hair, and his hair is like the blondest blonde right now. So... I don't want him to have orange hair for weeks, but I couldn't find orange, so I'm trying red, but I figured this stuff comes right out of your hair if you don't set it with hairspray, so it comes out of mine anyway, so I'll test a little piece of his hair and see how it works. Otherwise, if anybody has any suggestions for coloring kids' hair for Halloween, leave them below because I need to do his orange, orangey red. Um, and then the other thing I got was one of these Fantasy Makers uh, Painters palettes. This one is Wicked Queen. And I wanted one with red in it. I think they have two that have the red in it. Two or three. I don't know. But the thing that sucks is it says right on it, do not use in the area of the eye or on the lips. So, like, but I guess I can use the red for blood and stuff. And these I couldn't find anywhere last year. Um, I found it at Rite Aid this year. And they're so much more pigmented than the Wet n Wild, uh, these face paint type things used to be. They used to have, like, no color payoff whatsoever. Um, but they're, like, super, look how bright the red is. Uh, this one has red and then navy blue and gray, which I don't know what I'm really going to use the gray for. And then the black is actually good, too. So way more pigmented than they used to be. Um, they never looked like this before. I don't remember actually what the little face paint things looked like. I think they were wheels, like face paint wheels. But at any rate, they're a lot better than they used to be. And the Jordana stuff. I couldn't find Jordana anywhere because none of my Walgreens sells it <laughs> for some reason. I guess they just don't carry it yet or they're not going to. Um, the Walgreens website doesn't sell it yet. And where else did I check? Uh, Beauty.com or Drugstore.com, they're the same website. They only have like a uh, mascara and one other thing, so that was out of the question. So I ended up ordering from Beautyjoint.com. Um, their shipping was really cheap, but I know that they charge a little bit more for the products themselves. But anyway, the first new thing that I got was one of the Eye Glitz Cream Eyeshadows. Eye Glitz Sparkling Cream Eyeshadow in the color Purple Twinkle. And these looked so pretty on the website, but for, they look so weird in person because it has like these chunks of cream shadow on top of everything else. That just looks so weird to me. I thought there was something wrong with it, but I guess not. And this I'm not loving so much. I mean, I can use it as a base for like purple looks. But it's very glittery, and it, once you, when you try to clean it off, the glitter goes everywhere. See, it's kind of like, I don't know. If it was more finely milled glitter, it would probably be more awesome, but I just don't like chunky glitter that goes all over the place like that. Or that's going to spread all over my face when I try to clean it off. Next thing I got was, I'm going to do reviews on all this stuff on my blog eventually, so if it's not linked below, it will be sometime soon. Um, I got one of the Twist and Shine, uh, Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stains. Everybody's been raving about these, and they're awesome. This is the color Tropical Frenzy. I only picked up one because I have so many of the Revlon Balm Stains. I have like three of the CoverGirl ones. I just wanted to make sure I liked it before I went and got a bunch of them. Which I probably won't get a bunch of them anyway because how many of these things does one need? But instead of sm smelling like mint, like the Revlon ones, which I'm not crazy about mint, but I deal with it because I love that product. I'm like way too close to the camera. 
this has like a berry fruity smell which I love <laughs> so they get extra points for doing that um, this is what the color looks like and it, it's nice and shiny it stays shiny seriously stayed on my lips all day yesterday it was ridiculous so I'm very very happy with that it does start to fade a little towards the end of the day but just in the center of your mouth no big deal I got one of the 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencils again only got one of these because I have the Rimmel ones and the NYX jumbo pencils so this is on the same idea um, this is the color continuous almond I figured I, you don't really see like nude ones that often I think Rimmel has one but that's like the only one I've ever seen it's just like it's basically looks like a concealer for my skin tone anyway super creamy um, it makes a really awesome eyeshadow base and it doesn't crease on me it's like with the NYX jumbo pencils you just gotta do a thin layer of it and then it won't crease and then the last two things I got were the like the normal liner pencils these are 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencils and these are like my new favorite thing I got the color aqua stone which is like it's a bright shimmery aqua they're so smooth like that's they were good in calling them liquid liner pencils because it goes on like a liquid super pigmented that's such a pretty color I'm gonna I'm gonna end up getting the other colors I think I don't remember how many there were I think they had like green and and then the black I got the black just because I like trying out different black pencil liners it's called black point this is a dead-on dupe for Urban Decay's perversion um, let me just show you it's super dark glides on so smooth and it doesn't smudge as much as perversion so I don't know if that's a good thing or not like if you like to smudge it on your lower lash line these pretty much set right away so there's not much smudging going on if you're using it for that but I want to show you all right so perversion this one the Jordana ones already on my hand then I'm gonna put pervert oh, I need to sharpen the perversion one so the lines gonna be thicker but I'm gonna put it right next to it so you can see same blackness it's just it's craziness and then you can rub on this like crazy <laughs> and it's not gonna go anywhere it's like I just I I was blown away it could be <laughs> these were I think I think they were only like two bucks so that's insane to have an awesome liner like this for that cheap it's like exactly the same as perversion which is nineteen dollars every time I gotta buy this or every time I have to buy this so I will get the Jordana one from now on because why not <laughs> that was it for my little um, drugstore type haul so um, what am I doing I'm making a mess like I said, I have some other videos to film, so I've got to do that. Um, but I will talk to you guys in my next video.